Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2024 as we continue our road to glory run with Farsley Celtic in the Premier League. And as of right now, we are flirting with the Euro spots just outside. We've been playing pretty well, uh, including a draw most recently against the number one team in the league. We've got a couple tough games today, though. Let's see if we can keep up a good run of form with some injuries, unfortunately, playing us. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. As you can see, uh, we've only played three games of actual play since you last guys saw. We did go, obviously, on a bunch of friendlies here during international break. Uh, we did beat Chelsea 3-2. to two. We got a goal from Huber, a goal from Friday, and a goal from Fan Chuang in that one. Fan Chuang picking up a very late penalty to get us the victory in that one, which is awesome. Uh, we then went up against Everton and beat them 3-2. to two. We actually went up 3 to nothing in the first half and let them have a couple goals late, unfortunately to get back into that one a little bit, but thankfully we held on and got the victory. And then finally, most recently, we did uh, draw against Man City. We were actually ahead of them at two to nothing uh, until I think the 80th minute mark when Holland picked up a goal. And then finally, uh, late, who was it that picked up the second goal? Um, Foden, of course. So Foden picking up a 96th minute goal to get the draw. Otherwise, we had Man City, number one team in the league, uh, beat outright, which would have been a great Great way to come into this episode, but it is what it is. Today we play 15th ranked Tottenham, followed by 17th ranked Fulham. You know, tough games only because these are obviously established Premier League teams, but we're playing well and these teams are not playing well. So hopefully that does good things for us. Um, here is the team we we're bringing today. I did mention that we have a couple of injuries. Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, Rodriguez is currently injured, so that's pretty tough. Uh, Josh is injured as well, but not as big of a deal because he was obviously sitting on the bench for us. Or actually, not even on the bench. He said he wasn't even showing up for games. Uh, Friday just came back from an injury, and we've had a few other injuries along the way as well. Thankfully, some of those guys have come back. Um, let's see the team we got today. Here's the team. we got Hamdani and Go. Of course, uh, I Avazian. Uh, Avazian. Sure. On the left-hand side, Friday on the right, Safin and Garbutt in the middle. JJ and Ray ahead of them in the defensive midfield with Fan Chuang on that left wing. Jones on the right wing. Knights playing as a shadow striker. Hasn't really played that well, to be perfectly honest. I mean, as a shadow striker, I would have hoped for some goals by now, but it is what it is. And then Huber, of course, thankfully getting some goals for us, playing as our striker up front. Well, let's get into this game today and hope for the best result possible. I think we can win these two games. I don't think they're going to be easy wins, but I do think we can win both of these games. At the very least, they're pointable games, right? First game is an away game against Tottenham, so if we got a draw in this game, I would probably be okay with that. I mean, unless we just outplay them and still end up with a draw, that would be disappointing. But I would hope for a win in the next game against uh, Fulham. Corner kick coming in for Tottenham. All right. It was an initial good save by Hamdani, and then nobody helped him out after that. And, of course, Tottenham picks up a goal here off the corner kick. Which is not great. I did see that they're taking shouts out of the game in the next version of FM. Probably a good move, because shouts don't really seem like they do much. Um, and they're very confusing. So, it's like you pick up the shout thing, and you're like, I don't know what half of this stuff actually does. And if you click any of them wrong, then you upset your players more than you help them. It's just very confusing. So, I think getting rid of shouts altogether... Probably a good move by the developers. There we go. Huber getting past the defense. Can he finish this? Yes, he can. Benjamin Huber playing really well for us right now. Good to see. He doesn't have an extreme amount of pace, but he was able to get really well past the defense there. And, I mean, did everything he needed to do, so... I don't, from, from a statistic standpoint, from just looking at his stats, I don't think he looks like the most amazing striker in the world, but he's been playing well for us, so it's hard for us to go away from him. Jones gets it across. Two Knights. Knights should have finished that one, in my opinion. But a save by Vandervoort. Come on, guys. Want to keep coming in from Van Schwing again. He gets it back over to Jones. Jones gets it right back over to Hugh, or Knights, I mean. Knights did not even try to finish it that time. I feel like if he tried another shot, he might have actually got it this time. Jones just gets way out of bounds. Actually, was that deflected? It was deflected. We are going to get another corner kick out of that. Well, three corner kicks. One of these has got to be a score, right? Fan Chang with the corner kick. Oh, that was way over Ibasian's head. And that is it. Let's 
Come on, guys. There we go. JJ picking up the ball. He gets it up to Fan Chuang. Fan Chuang. Good move to keep it. Over to Friday. Friday over to JJ. Back to Friday. Friday's got a good spot to finish it here. Just didn't get it on target. Come on, guys. Seven shots. Only one on target so far. Friday trying to get it out of bounds. Couldn't get it there. Uh, we're about to give up a goal, aren't we? This looks bad. This looks bad. Oh, we got lucky there. Very lucky. Didn't look like Tottenham's got a full full group of fans out there. Like, like, like they are not sold out today. Friday picking that one up off of that. And we're going to go into halftime. Looks like drawn. With only one shot on target so far. <sighs> Man, kind of a little bit of depressing play in my opinion. We're going to actually have to say our shooting needs to get better. I agree with that big time. All right, 55 minutes in. Let's go ahead and get us a sub in here. Uh, Fan Chuang not playing well. Neither is Luca Jones. Neither has Friday, who's on a yellow. So I guess we'll get Friday out of here. Bring Suarez in in place of him. Um, I mean, these guys did appear inspired and fired up. We'll give them a chance. We'll do our next swap in here in about eight minutes. Corner kick from Fan Chuang. Suarez is there. Oh, I thought that was going in. Chuang picks that one back up. Gets it back across. Jones is there. Gets tackled hard. Should be a penalty here, which I think Huber will be taking. Knight's actually on 7.1 today. This one I was talking bad about how he hasn't really played well. He showed up to play today. All right, here's a penalty shot from... It's actually going to be Fan Chuang taking the penalty. All right. That's not good, guys. Jones with the ball. He gets it across. There's Huber. Huber, yes, not... We cannot shoot the broth side of the bar today. What is going on? We are terrible today. I had four shots on target out of 12. Uh, okay, we're going to do another sub here. A pair of subs, actually. So Fan Chuang needs to come out. He's just playing terribly. Yaroslav comes in for you. Uh, Ray is getting a little bit tired and not playing especially well. Uh, you're going to swap out for Igun on the bench, and we'll go with that. All right, at this point, with the penalty shot, we definitely should have won this game. So it is going to be a disappointing draw if it does, in fact, end that way. All right, Luka Jones not playing especially well. Uh, Manrique comes in for you. And I don't know who I'm going to bring in for the last spot. Hmm. Knights is getting a little bit tired. I'm going to bring in Isela. Get some fresh legs into that Shadow Striker role. Come on, guys. Please. Find a way to get back from that penalty that we lost because that was dis disappointing. There's JJ with the ball. He gets it up to Isela. Isela over to Suarez on that right-hand side. Suarez closed down by two guys. Just not sure what that was. But it does look like it's going to be a corner kick coming in for us. 79 minutes in the game. Come on. I uh, Vazian taking the corner kick. Comes across. Suarez there. Not even close to being on target. Come on, guys. Suarez picking that ball up. Gets it back to Garba. Garba. Over to Safin. Come on, guys. All the way back to goalkeeper. I don't like this, but... Back up to Garba. They're playing us pretty well here. Suarez gets across to Igun. They are defending us really well. They're, we're just... It feels like there's 15 players on their side of the field. Enrique gets past the defense here, though. Is he be able to get across to the inside? Huber's in the middle waiting for him. He is going to have to get it back. There's JJ. Terrible shot. We cannot do anything on target. What is going on? This has been depressing. And if we end up losing this here... All right, thankfully, not yet. 
Uh, we should have won this game. Very depressing draw. Very depressing draw. Should have won that game. I don't care if I... If I... Yeah, I was going to say, you guys better not get upset about me yelling at you for drawing a game you should have won. Especially since Twang's the one that kind of gave that one away. So, it's all his fault. Ugh. All right. Man, that's disappointing. Wow. <laughs> I'm really bummed. Like, I... We had that. Should have should have gotten that. There's two games in a row that we should have should have won, in my opinion. Man, we got a good team, just not consistent, apparently. All right, we'll be right back for the Fulham game. All right, we're back for a game here against Fulham, a game that we are expecting to win. At least I'm hoping so. Um, here's the team we got. We got Hamdani and Go, Ivazian on the left, Friday on the right, Arroyo and Garba in the middle, Igun alongside Ray in the defensive midfield with Fantrang on the left wing, Jones on the right wing, Isela coming in as our shadow striker, and Ripa coming in after his long injury as our striker. Ripa, of course, the one with the good finishing and good pace. We'll see what this guy can do. All right, let's go. Definitely expecting a win here against Fulham. They're not playing well. We are playing pretty well. It's a home game. We should have the edge. Need to need to make up for those couple of draws that we've had lately. There's Fan Chuang trying to get to that one, not able to get to it. Here comes Fulham, uh, and they're going to get a goal here. Oh, good save by him, Danny. Corner kick coming in for Fulham. Good catch by him, Danny. All right, Ray picking up the ball in this next highlight. He gets it over to Friday on the right-hand side. Friday coming back from an injury. Up to, over to Igun. Igun gets it up to Ivazian on the left. He gets it across. There's Asela. Asela, can we finish it? Over to R Rippin. A oh, Ripper. I said Rippin. Ripper. And no, of course we cannot finish it. Ah, uh, come on. Corner kick coming from Fan Chuang. Garba. Ivazian gets it back over to Fan Chuang. And trying to cross. There's Jones. Not able to get that one. I'm going to pick it up. We're still keeping pressure over here, though. Come on. Gets it to somebody. Avazian. Nothing. Yes, come on, guys. Had some chances here, but... Can't capitalize. Jones with the free kick. Over the bar. A lot of nothing so far. Throw in coming in here for who is that? Garba with the throw in. Gets it into Friday by Vazian over to Izella. Come on, somebody do something good. Uh. Jones pushing the ball up this right hand side. He gets it across to Igun. Igun up to Jones. Jones over to Ray. And somehow that goes in. How did that go in? I have... Oh, it's off the post. I was like, how did that go in? I mean, I guess if I can be surprised by how something doesn't go in, I could be equally surprised by how something did go in. Oh, the goalkeeper put his hands on it. So it was going in all along. Goalkeeper put his hands on it to tip it out. Did not tip it out enough. Still went off the post. Good shot. At least it was on target. Make the goalkeeper make a move, guys. That's all I've ever said. All right. Well, so far, so good. Let's keep it up. Let's do our first subs here. Uh, Fan Chuang's getting a little bit tired, but we do have Victor Arroyo on a yellow, so we'll bring him out for... Your backup is... Uh, actually, I think I brought Mons in here to be your backup. But if we're not going to swap out our left back, then technically Amos is your left backup. I just had Amos as a left back because we didn't have a backup left back. 
Uh, do we bring Fan Swing out yet? I don't think so. I think he's happy. He's playing well. We're going to go without him. Without swapping him out. Hoping for a better play from Ripa by now. Here's a throw in coming in from... Who is that? Garba again? Yeah, it is Garba. Avazian with the ball. Back over to Garba. Garba. Come on, buddy. Let's it over to Avazian. Up to Isela. Up to Jones. Ripa! Gets goal from Ripa. I said, I was hoping Ripa would do some stuff, and he did get us a goal there. I think long-term Ripa will be our best striker, but I could be wrong. Huber has played really, really well. It's hard to just, you know, just knock him out of the, the pecking order based on how well he's played. I do think, ultimately, Ripa will be our best striker. Or, we'll see. It's going to be so fast. All right, let's do a couple more subs here. Fanchwang really tired, so I'm going to bring him out for Yaroslav. Um, I would like to get Rodriguez in to get some game time, coming back from his injury. So we might do it later, not right this second, but we might do it in a minute. Jones could come out for Menrique. I think that's a good move. We'll call that good enough for now. Jones with the free kick. Ivazian down to Fanchwang. Easy goal. I think it might be offsides, but it still looked good. <laughs> I think Chwang was offsides. Ivazian should have been clean, but I think Chwang might have been. Oh, we got it. Never mind. I stand corrected. Well, the two guys that just connected for a goal here. Well... Sort of. I guess a Vaz... Actually, he kind of was offside. Uh, Jones started that whole thing. Fan Chuang, they both come out. But they were both getting tired, so it's okay. Garber with the throw in into Ripa. Ripa across to Manrique. Easy go from Manrique. An assist from Ripa. Nice. That was made way too easy <laughs> like the, the, the Fulham guys just kind of gave up on that play it felt like that was yeah all right I do want to get Isela out I know he's played well but I want to get Rodriguez a little bit of game time getting back to being fit again and then we want to get one of our defensive midfielders out I think um Ray's a little bit more critical long term so we're gonna bring him out for Saka Good win today, guys, though. Come on. We've got a good team. We just need to be more consistent like this. We're going to finish it right here. Oh, so close. Praise the boys. Watch them give up a go here and that praise just be silly. I mean, we're staying within striking distance of Euros, which would be amazing if we got into European play next year. I don't know that we're ready for European play next year, but it would be amazing. Well done. Good win. Although, I will say this. If you make European play in the Premier League, you probably are ready for European play, because obviously the Premier League is the pinnacle of competition in the world. Is that really Saka's first play? play? Interesting. All right, happy with that. Five games undefeated so far. We'll see how we, long we can keep that up. And yeah, next game you guys are going to see is probably going to be down somewhere down here in December. Something down this way. I don't know. Probably like Crystal Palace, Watford. It's, those both are televised. I'll televise them as well. Uh, so yeah, something like that looks good to me. And if we keep playing well, we'll keep showing more and more games. So I do appreciate you guys watching, though. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.